Last half of Annie McPhee, first half of Final Destination 3. Brilliant. Now that is what a mind is for, my friend. I'm sorry, but after you almost get killed on a plane and on the freeway, why would you choose to go on a crazy, terrifying roller coaster? Oh boy. Well, I mean, at that point, just stay home, right? <laughs> it's a horror movie. Yes, but it doesn't make any sense. It's not supposed to make sense. It's supposed to make you sick. Fine, whatever. I'm heading over to the end. Do you want to come over and hang? No, I gotta run some errands. I'll meet you there later. All right, but watch out that a street light doesn't accidentally break off, swing down, and decapitate you. Will do. <sighs> I mean, why even bother calling it Final Destination 3 at that point? Just call it. Now you're really, really, really dead. Hello, Hollywood boy. I got a pitch for you. Okay, but see, I'm sorry, they did not even come up with a villain. No, Freddy, no, Jason, the villain is death? How lame is that? Who is seeing this movie? Apparently we are, many, many times. But how can they make money off of that? I mean, where's the Halloween mask? Where's the costume? How can they keep making the same stupid movie over and over and over? Ah, uh, Caesar, thank God. We desperately need something to put in her mouth. Hi, two cheeseburgers and a copy of Sid Field's book, please. We are missing the boat. Where's Luke? He just ran upstairs. He's got this new policy of not yelling at the vendors in front of customers. <laughs> so, so, what should we do after dinner? Do you want to rent Final Destination 1 and 2? So many things wrong with you. <laughs>